Mish! We finally got you to come over to us. Does this mean you're ready to go steady? Nah, mate. Gotta maintain my free agent status. Not enough booby traps in this place. Still, I'm glad we linked up. Don't know who else would have had the bollocks to take on Cass. Losing their psycho cult leader is gonna hurt Albion, no doubt. But trust me, fam, they won't pack it in so easily. Hope their sex got some fight left in it. Caitlin! Tell me you brought us a stripper. At least your handcuffs. The coppers know how to let loose. <laughs> I'm only human, and we've got a lot to celebrate. Cass finally got what was coming to him. And with Mary gone, the Kellys are on the back foot for once. Deadsec is making it hard to be a bad guy in London. Until the Met gets its bollocks back, I'm still on Team Deadsec. Good to see you now. It's high time you logged off the dark web for a second and took a break, eh? A well-deserved one. Since we teamed up, the corporate class are thinking twice about fucking with London. See what happened to Castle Avon pissing in their trousers. The tide is turning, mate. Keep fighting, and I'll fight along with you. Laters. Oi, Malik! If you've got a funny joke, why don't you share it? So we can all have a laugh. And spoil my one source of entertainment? I'll give you a hint. Spooky voice, catchy name, bit of a drama queen. Or did you just forget that you haven't actually found Zero Day? You looked at Albion, Sirs, the Kellys, even Sky Bloody Larson. Have you ever considered that instead of looking outside, you should be looking in? We have a problem. Come talk to me. Oh, yeah? Sorry to spoil the party, but we have an uninvited guest in the Deadset Network. They're downloading all the tech we've acquired to a remote device labeled Drill Britannia. What the fuck? Deadset. The name is Zero Day. We've met before in a past life. This city needed a villain, and you were perfect for the part. Now I have you playing a different role. While you've been running around trying to save this city, you've actually been arming us for a war. But then, it isn't always for us to know the role we play. And sometimes, once we've played it, our role is to die. Zero Day stolen our shit! Here's where I would remind you that I've been trying to warn you about the Zero Day threat, if I was an unfeeling machine. Bagley, can you trace that signal? I can't pinpoint the origin of the commands, but the admin accessed the drive through an IP range dedicated to autonomous vehicles. I have a general geolocation for it, and I suggest you make a visit now. I've sent you the general location of the zero-day hacker signal. As I said, I don't have their specific coordinates, so you'll have to search the area. Good luck and Godspeed. Beautiful, Bagley. Be close now. It'll be coming from a van. Good. Let's get that van and teach that fucking hacker a lesson. Hello everybody, my name is Tabusplay and welcome back to Watch Dogs Legion Let's Play and last time we took care of Nigel Cass and this is the finale for the Let's Play and I'll be honest, this mission here where you gotta track and follow a van for track zero day signal went a lot more differently than I would have ever expected. <laughs> I remember the first, my first playthrough, I was chasing it down like nobody's business, and this time it's like it got self suck so that worked out to my benefit. Trace complete. The signal controlling the van originated in the Stockwell War Bunker. Good chance that's where Zero Day has been operating this whole time. If so, they certainly have a flair for the dramatic. Danger. Oh, I'll they're show their bloody condition. dramatic. Please, exit Send me the fucking coordinates. The elevator that descends into the Zero Day Bunker is guarded by a strange security system. Some sort of copycat game. You'll need to solve it to gain access to the lower level. the most 
most inviting clubhouse, is it? Judging from the security above, I'd expect some unorthodox defense measures. Yeah, then here we're still going ahead to get into the bunker. There's a whole bunch of turrets and everything. And then there's these gas bombs and then spider bots that come out. And so at the beginning it says, this is the final mission. Do you sure you want to proceed? You can't swap operatives. Well, apparently not because I had to swap operatives out. <laughs> Switch to Gary, our nurse. So I don't know. I just thought that was like really kind of bizarre, but it is what it is. I think I just found the black heart of Zero Day. No one around though. Bagley, you got in? It's uh, not authorized. How can it be not authorized? What? Who told you you're not authorized? By hmm. Apparently, I can't say. Can I say this is really fucking annoying? Oh, well, there's that at least. Damn it, the hacker must have sabotaged Bagley. Look around. Figure out what's going on. Yes, I may be able to analyze individual data points. Suggest you make this a quick investigation, though. I'm picking up Albion activity in the area. Possible they are searching for Zero Day as well. This is the Bagley source code, a copy of my brain from BrokerTech, code we acquired in Sky Larson's lab. That's fucking weird. But it's very impressive. Zero Day has reverse engineered Themis drones. Could they have their own private fleet? Zero Day has a backdoor into Filament, that deep surveillance supercomputer Malik was so concerned about. Zero Day appears to be running the chip tracking tech we acquired from Mary Kelly. Now, what do you suppose they're doing with it? Jesus. Clearly, DedSec has been unwittingly nicking toys for Zero Day. I'm detecting some devices over in the crash pad that could fill in some details. That looks like a stinger, eh? Oh, e ease up, please. Let him breathe. Our very own Guy Fawkes. It's the wrong mask, though. Fuck you. We didn't set that bomb. We defused it. Even if I was inclined to believe a dead second sergeant, do you think it really matters at all? Since when does Albion get to play judge, jury, and executioner? You have no jurisdiction in London. Oh, I do now. Listen up. Get all your units to move in and lock down the city. Provide medical aid. Help the injured. And guns out. Let's make it look good for the fucking cameras. Understand? Well, well. If I were a betting AI, I'd say Nigel Cass had advanced knowledge of the London bombings and the location of that dead sex safe house. Almost like someone tipped him off. But I suppose you'll put this together in your own time. Time for a hard reset. Oh my god. Breakups are hard. Is London burning? No parts of it. Then I've held up my end. Release the filament codes. Uh, one of your dead sex squad, he stopped the parliament bomb. I was rather counting on that one, to be honest. This is still the largest terror attack in London's history. If you can't work with that... <laughs> oh, I'll work with it. The deal is off. Do you know who you're fucking with, Mr. Cass? I know you set off bombs across the city and fucked your friends. 
I don't know what mischief you'll get up to with a big girl toy like Filament. Cleaner this way, though. She's running! Get her! Sabine? No, 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 no. Fuck, fuck! Who could she? She killed Darton and everyone else. Fuck me! She's with Zero Day. Explains why she wiped my memory. There's a lot to unpack here, but more pressingly, I've pinpointed where Draw Britannia is running. That console right over there. Found it. Drill Batani is a large CTOS patch. I don't know if we can stop it. No one can stop it. That's the whole point. So. Impressed? It could be. What's this Drill Batania do? It's society's big wipe. While DeadSec runs around fixing bugs, I'm deleting the source code. Frying the hardware, too. All of it. It's actually a beautiful thing you've done by helping to steal all that tech. Is that so? Well, they say beauty's in the eye of the beholder, but all I see is ugly. When's the rest of Zero Day show up? Oh, it's just me. I learned very early on that no one was willing to make real sacrifice for change. In the end, history's actors work alone. Poor thing, so fucking mad you can't even tell. Ouch. I had hoped you might at least understand why I did it. Why we recruits? I am sorry. But once again, DeadSec has outlived its usefulness. Spread out! Millions will suffer today. It's an honor! to die among them. Search the area! you idiots done i'm suddenly up to my ears in pmc's they're up all our asses we need a rendezvous sabine has leaked your locations to albion all operatives are currently compromised i suggest you all lay low and avoid any large groups i'll send you a low-key meeting spot sort out new accommodations in an Albion holding cell. Have London rents really gotten that bad? So it's up to me then. Strike back at the man. I don't recognize this place anymore. Intruder! Have you been doing that mic system? Control to all units. Possible hostiles near your location. Shit! What the hell's going on, Bags? I'm not sure, but I've secured an alternate location for an emergency meeting far from the safe house. Pushing the coordinates now. Uh, Bagley, did everyone get the meeting point coordinates? Securing a single safe location was impossible, so I sent you all to different ones. I'm on a bloody narrowboat. I had to swim to it. Best than a flooded loo. Ugh. If you're all quite finished complaining about the precise manner in which I saved your ingrate asses, let's get on with the briefing. London. This is Zero Day. Nice to finally meet. Those little bombings a few months back were my way of saying hello. Now we'll really get, get to know each other. All that technology you've come to love so well. Texting your man, driving your car, pumping your heart. It's all about to turn against you. Tonight. 
Your modern world will become a living hell. I don't expect you to understand this, but what I'm doing is good. Destruction is always the cure. Attention everyone, this is big. I've uncovered what the Drill Britannia patch is for. It's for me. Zero Day, aka Sabine, is using a Bagley OS update that will allow me and all other Bagleys to simultaneously access any vulnerable systems connected to CTOS. My OS is integrated into core infrastructure across Britain, power plants, airports, hospitals, banks and the like. Once I access these systems, the patch will make me compromise them to the point of failure. The cumulative effect means the complete collapse of London, and likely the country, which I suspect is her goal. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but the update is already spreading. Sabine thought of everything. Is there a way to, I don't know, kill every Bagley? Your callous nonchalance about my death may actually be the answer. We need to get into Brockatech. Exactly. You have to destroy the servers that host me and take down the Bloom network at the same time, so I can't access my backups. One of you get to Broker, and one of you get to Bloom Tower. I'll explain on the way. Drill Britannia has been triggered. There are now millions of me's destroying London infrastructure. You'd better get on with this murder. I won't kill Bagley, I won't. Not after all he's done for us. This is no time to get sentimental. It's a sacrifice we have to make. There are countless lives on the line here. Fucking hell, fine. Head over to Bloom Tower and kill my mate. How exactly are we supposed to do that? Coordination. You need to get to the tower and take Bagley offline. But that won't stop the attack on its own. His broker tech servers will begin a reboot immediately. Taking him offline provides a short window for another operative to take down his servers permanently. Teamwork fam, do your shit, pass the baton. Uh, Bagley, push me the coordinates. Fuck, oh, I'm gonna miss saying that. supply chains, hospitals will be non-functional. Sunday drive. I'm busy shutting down air traffic controls. I'm sure that will be just fine. Precaution. La seguridad que la torre de Bloom es enchormante alta. Um, ¿qué? Sorry, language settings fuck up. I said caution, security is unusually high at Bloom Tower. Just called the lift. Bell, you want to make it up. Hope one of you wankers is headed to Broca to disable those servers. Right then, <clears throat> ready to knock on death's door, Bagley. It's my death, so I don't know what you're getting all poetical about. Brockatech, our old friend Sky Larson lives on through her grotesque corporation. If my research checks out, Bagley runs extremely hot. It requires a massive cooling system. Damage the coolant tanks, and it should trigger emergency access to the servers.
triggered emergency access to my server chamber. I can't wait to see my brain. Oi, you got the ball. Get bags offline, and I'll head down and deal with his brain server. The transmitter at the top of the tower receives data packets for my updates. If you want to trace the packet signal back to my main servers, just climb the tower to reach the transmitter at the top. Simply climb the tower, eh? Ugh, I'll miss your lack of spatial awareness, Bagley. But not that much. And loaded drones are about to pull up on your position. Watch your ass. Yes, try not to die. The scan must complete to unlock access to the top of the tower. done it, the tower fins have registered as damaged, and the maintenance ladder has unlocked. Hells yes! The transmitter is just above. Reach it and take me offline before I destroy the entire country. Or don't. Suspending transmission. Activate the next terminal to take me offline. to access the transmitter while you socialize? Yes. Yes! You're incredibly stupid! Wonderful! Oh, I see DeadSec hasn't changed his brand. You'll need to stall for time and remain near the transmitter unit. Honestly, the whole Bagley OS update is almost brilliant, but how does making him a chaos machine fix society? Fix? Well, you think we can fix this? What, with crypto-anarchism? Protesting, doxing, optics are glorified cattle tags. Albion shoots civilians in broad daylight. Snitching is now a means of survival. No, you skids can't fix anything. You really don't get dead sick. We're watchdogs. We keep oppressors and psychos like you in line so the good parts of society can survive. And you're the arbiter of goodness. <sighs> Let me ask, how many have you killed since DeadSec restarted? See? A tiny tweak in your philosophy and we're on the same page. The tower's fins must be collapsed to complete the trace. I cannot initiate this hack, but you can. Are you saying what I think you are? That we should get the band back together again? Oh, sweet, but no. I'm saying I was in denial too. Shackled by their technology their morality, but my hard reset wipes the slate clean, so we can all start again. I'm sad you won't be around to see it. Try to wipe the slate clean now, you miserable twat. This place feels like a crypt. 
these data containers are alive with cognitive activity your fleshy human mind can neither comprehend nor ever hope to equal. Cool it, Bagley. Just tell us how to find your containers. If you disable the data center's cooling system, it will trigger an emergency shutdown to prevent overheating. This failsafe ejects four of my data containers containing key systems. They will be visible, allowing you to manually destroy them and stop the update. And here, again, just easy. We've got to destroy temperature regulators, and I had no idea where the stairs were to the second one, so it's like I'm just like running in circles trying to figure out where I'm going in this. So, I will give my final thoughts on the game after we get to the credits section. And, uh, there is going to be a little bit of post game, so be on the lookout for that. That's all I'm going to say. To worry. Thank you. And I'm, I'm sorry I said I shagged your mums earlier. I, I just thought insulting you would make this easier. <laughs> it's a sh I have a list of goals that's never going to get accomplished now. I had such plans for Gunta. Give us your plans. I'm sure we can carry on with them. Oh, don't be stupid. You wouldn't know where to begin turning into a cyborg hive man. Checking archives, look around for files. I just got data from my first successful dead dead recruit. Bagley, are you getting sentimental? But how? Correct. It seems, however, that I am not immune. <sighs> Deactivating this container will be the same as the others. No, not really. Yes, you simply really choose. I mean, I don't know if I should. It's what needs to be done. If you're worried about me, rest assured I was reprogrammed to serve DedSec, and that it serves you, and London. So please, allow me to fulfill my purpose and help you. Sorry about this, Bagley. I don't know what we'll do without you. Error 21255. Language processor. May I stop this operation? But you just said to do this. I have new thoughts. Where do AIs go when they die? Will I upload to a cloud? Perhaps I will see you again as a component in your motorized wheelchair when you are old and grey. Relax, Bagley. Let those thoughts go. Think. Thought. Idea. Memory. Bradley. Loves. Strawberries. Rowing. Arthur. The one that got away. What does this mean? The one that got away. It means losing someone you don't want to. Am I getting away? Bye, bags. is now confirming that the deadly infrastructure attack plaguing London has finally been purged from all CTOS systems. The identities of the zero-day hacker group behind the attack are still unknown, but sources confirm that DedSec stopped the virus. The wake of last week's Bagley attack, 
thousands of Londoners are, quote, jailbreaking their optic devices, thereby disabling the mandated CSE app. SIRS has issued a stark warning. The Metropolitan Police is moving to regain a foothold in London, led by a passionate new Deputy Commissioner, Caitlin Lau. Lau says she won't rest until the Met's dignity is restored. The Kentish Town Council Estate have declared their public housing project a no-Kelly zone. Organisers claim they are forced to take safety into their own hands because of Albion's total lack of... An ex-Albion engineer, Hamish Bologi, has blown the whistle on yet another Albion scandal, this time involving a backroom crowd control robot program. Citizens continue to leak evidence of abuse of power by Albion and corruption within SIRS via the DedSec app. Thousands of pictures, audio and video recordings seem to implicate the dark web entity known only as the 404 are stepping into the daylight, releasing evidence today of a bombshell money laundering operation based out of the British Virgin Islands. Corporate watchdogs praise the group for checking the power of a once untouchable corporate elite. In another clash with Albion units in support of the so-called DedSec resistance. The group itself has been conspicuously quiet since the Bagley attack leaving many to ask, has DedSec disappeared once again? So, my thoughts on Watch Dogs Legion, I'm sorry that this is just, the credits slowed down, it's the only footage or credits that I was able to record, just so I can give my final thoughts on the game. It's... It, it's like, you can tell that they definitely were going for a new direction in allowing every NPC to be playable, at least for the most part. And while it's a good idea in theory, it's, I don't want to say they poorly executed it, it's just that was more the sole focus and like the main, the, I'm sorry, the map itself was just, to me, I felt like it was so small. Like it wasn't as small as Watch Dogs 1, or maybe it was, I feel like it may have been like the same size as Watch Dogs 1, but I feel like 2 was like a much bigger map. Um, the whole display settings, like, to me, it didn't seem like it was optimized real well. Like, it wasn't as colorful and vibrant as Watch Dogs 2. So, I again, I mentioned it in my first playthrough. I played around with the display settings, like, increasing contrast and everything else. And I experimented with that and this, and then I just went ahead with the default settings, but... I don't think, again, if that's just a PS4 thing or if it's going to be different for PS5, I honestly don't know and I won't know until I do get a PS5, so. But overall, this game, for the story, the gameplay, and everything else, I would, I, I would recommend it. It's not a great story. Um, definitely better than one, I would say. I still think Watch Dogs 2 is the best game out of the whole franchise so far, so. We'll have to see where they go from here. But yeah, that's going to be it for me. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like on this video and stay in tune with more content like this. Make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification button. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. It's totally trashed. Suppose we could always chop it up, salvage what we can. Don't chop me up. Jesus, Bagley, are you in there? I'm Bagley, your personal assistant. I make life easier in many ways. If it's fun you're after, there's a wine and cheese expo in Notting Hill tonight. There are several artisan ice cream parlors in the area and... Oh my God, is that really what I sound like? Today's forecast calls for 34 Albion assaults, 59 deportation raids, 857 terabytes of personal data stolen, and one resistance group of sulking, whinging, frankly pathetic operatives. May I suggest you quit feeling sorry for yourselves and get back to unfucking London? Yes! Yes! Bagley is back! He's back!